with any luck, we are going to boot the Acer from USB and we will get the Clonezilla software up and running. Stick with English, keep the keyboard map, start Clonezilla. We're going to do device image, the first option. We are going to do Samba server. DHCP should give us an IP address. And so the address of the server. And slash images where we're going to save it. And we'll stick with the default. Use system auto. And I'm going to pause while I enter the password. All right, we've entered the password and it's showing the images directory on the server that I set up and enter to continue. We'll stick with beginner mode. We're going to do save disk. And it's going to Use the date as the name of the image, just fine. And it should be starting to do its thing. So this is selecting the main hard drive. And we're going to skip checking the source file system. And we'll check the saved image. Uh, we're not going to encrypt the image. And when we get done, we're going to choose whether we reboot or shut down. And enter to continue. And it's going to do a little bit of prep work, get ready to do its thing. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And it's going to start running through and doing the backup. And so typical of a modern Windows system, there are multiple smaller partitions on the system. And this is going through each of those. And it's going to do the backup. I will be back once this has got to the end and we'll chat some more. All right, we are back. The image has finished. We'll hit enter to continue. And we are going to tell the machine to power off. And it'll go ahead and do that. Power on, F12. Alright, this is what I was expecting. So, again, I had to make changes when I set up to boot from the flash drive. 
So in this uh, unimpressive UEFI BIOS, uh, we need to make a couple changes here. So I need to bring the Windows Boot Manager back to the top. Okay, so we're happy with that. We also need to make a couple other changes. Focus, focus. There we go. Um. And we need to change from Legacy BIOS back to Eufy. And leave Secure Boot disabled. And then exit saving changes. And it should boot back into Windows 10. Give me just a moment. And it is booting as expected. This machine is only an i3, so it takes it takes a moment to boot or a few moments to boot. But uh we'll finish the video from my Mac and we'll take a look at the image file created and its size. See you in a moment. All right, on your screen, you should be able to see here our 2019-4501 image folder. And inside that folder, it has all the files that it captured. And each of these for the hard drive partitions are a max of 4.1 gigabytes in size. And if you watched earlier in the video, I did in fact, I did in fact have the image checked for integrity after it had completed. So this is a good way of making an image backup for single machines. There are other ways to use Clonezilla, which we will look at in future videos but this gives you an easy way if you've got a NAS set up on your LAN you can connect to it via SMB and back up your machine uh, with an image over the network and it will work out pretty well on that note I'm gonna wrap this video before it gets too long if you like the video please give a thumbs up please subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. If you like, you can leave comments down below. I do look at each and every one of those messages I receive and the best of the best will get published. Until next time, this is Jeremy signing out for Practical IT. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.